Great. Thanks for your thoughts so far. Um, Microfinance has, has spread rapidly in the last sort of, you know, 10 years or so particularly, and it's become quite trendy, if you will, with a lot of different organisations and groups, many of whom would look to you and the Grameen Bank for their inspiration. And other people would say that at times it's kind of spread too quickly and too fast that it's often been applied somewhat uh, uncritically and perhaps um, may have lost some of the philosophy or the value that um, originally in inspired you and some of the work that you've done. What, is, what has been your thoughts and observations about the kind of the, the spread and the fad and the, the popularity of microfinance? Has it been all good? Are there, has it been bad elements about the way it's grown? Yeah. When the concept of microcredit became popular because it sounded very reasonable, very sensible thing, because it's run in a business way, it helps people, people who are denied of the financial services from the existing banking system. We created an alternative banking system which helps them. So everybody, everything looks so great. And people started going for it. And some people in the middle found an opportunity for doing something else. They wanted to use the concept of microcredit to make money for themselves. So this is the first deviation from the uh, direction that we created. Our direction is microcredit is to help poor people get out of poverty by generating income for themselves, by generating self-employment for themselves. They didn't look at that way. They say, ah, if I can lend money, if they are paying back, I mean, bank has created a methodology which works very good. Why don't you use this methodology to make money? Abuse of the concept. So that abuse caused lots of problems. And I've been speaking very loudly about it what is microcredit and what is not. Today, even the loan sharks, like payday lenders, uh, they call themselves microcredit. I said, what a shame. We come all the way to give the name microcredit to the payday lenders. They give tiny loans for you, charge 1,000% interest. So that's a problem. So we are trying to clarify so that conceptually everybody understands the difference between the real microcredit and the fake microcredit. Uh, sometimes we thought maybe we should change the name. Then the question came, why should we change the name? This is the name we got. They should be changing the name. Some people are using the words uh, market microcredit and social microcredit. Just to differentiate that one is a social microcredit because objective is social objective, not for making money for themselves. We design microcredit what we call it, as a social business. Business to solve problem rather than make money for ourselves. So that's how it began. And I tried to define what should be the, because the most sensitive issue is the interest rate. And I tried to emphasize what should be the interest rate for a genuine microcredit program. And I gave a kind of thumb rule. I said, cost of fund plus 10%. If the interest rate of a microcredit program is at that level, then it's a green zone of my interest rate. You are perfect microcredit program on the interest rate issue. If cost of fund plus 10 to 15%, you're in the yellow zone. You're on the high side, try to bring it down, but you're still microcredit. We accept you, even if you're making profit, it's okay with us. Cost of fund plus 15% and above, then you're in the red zone. You left us, you moved into something else. So that's how we try to address those things. So how to make it easy to understand. We built microcredit as, an, as a, as a uh, financial system which is not based on collateral. Now, people lending money with collateral call themselves microcredit. People lending money to buy household products call themselves microcredit. But the microcredit that we introduced was a credit for investing to create income for yourself, not for consumption purposes. If you want to have the consumption, earn enough to have the consumption, but don't use up the investment money into consumption. But today you see all varieties of, and call themselves micro so it's a mess out of there. So this is why we're trying to clean up so that people understand what the right microcredit is.